President Obama is promising more meetings with Republican leaders to tackle health care, job growth and other issues on his very full plate. But it's not easy to find common ground these days. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has more. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Harry. Just as Washington is snowed under and gridlocked, so are Republicans and Democrats in Congress. So the president had them all over to the White House to try to break the ice. Hello, hello, hello. The president made a surprise visit to the White House hello. briefing room Tuesday to tout his bipartisan meeting with Democrat and Republican <laughs> congressional leaders on the issue of jobs. It went very well, in fact. Uh, I understand that uh, McConnell and Reid are out doing snow angels in the South Lawn together. But he warned that he can't be the only one reaching out to fix the nation's problems. There's got to be some give from their side as well. This comes days after the president called for a bipartisan summit on health care. My hope is that uh, this doesn't end up be being political theater, as I think some of you have, have, have praised it. I want a substantive discussion. But Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell and House GOP leader John Boehner remained well, skeptical. Morning, Why are we going to talk about a bill that can't pass? It really is time to scrap the bill and start over. And when it comes to political theater, the president's press secretary knows how to put on a show. I wrote a few things down. Then I wrote down hope and change just in, in case I forgot. Gibbs mocking Sarah Palin's We've use of talking points on her palm in a Q&A um, with Tea Party activists. Projects. But the gridlock here is no laughing matter because polls show that the public is disgusted with the lack of progress. But speaking of progress, there's not likely to be much made around here today, Harry. No way to dig out, I guess, is the way to say it, Bill. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bill Plant at the White House.